So today we're going to be showing you guys what is still one of the best ways to farm bosses in the Division 2. If you've been looking for a method to farm bosses pretty fast and pretty easy and have a chance at getting those really good weapons, those really good rolls, well, this is going to be the best way to do that. You will get bosses and bosses and bosses and drop them and I'll be showing you a nice little trick to be able to farm these bad boys over and over and over. And then finally, when you're all done and you've killed all the bosses and you're tired, well then just go collect all of your loot. So how do you do this? Well, let's dive right into it. So the first thing you guys need to do is head over to the new Venice control point. Now this is gonna be in the west end, top left hand corner of your map in DC. You wanna head over here because this actually has two spawn points for your bosses that makes it really easy to farm. So first thing you need to do is call in your ally forces. So you wanna pop a flare. Now the reason why is once you clear the first half, you're gonna use these guys to fast travel back to. So yes, call in the allies and then clear out the first boss. And not only are you gonna clear out the first boss, you wanna make sure you leave no NPCs alive from the first half, right? So you wanna clear out every NPC until it says you need defense. So if you're looking right here, we're gonna clear out all the NPCs and then we'll also clear out this boss right here. Now we're done. We're done with this part. It says control point clear. So that means we did the first part of it. The next thing you guys want to do is head to where the next boss is spawn. And if you guys been to this control point before, there are only two places that NPCs will spawn out of. The first spot is going to be to the right hand side, these doors right here. And the second spot is these windows right here. So they'll jump out of the windows onto that platform or they'll come out of the doors. Those are the only two areas that NPCs can come out of. And that's why this is actually a really good spot to farm. And since you know the two areas that they come out of, it's easy to really focus on that boss. Because with, on this part, once you get enemy leader detected, which is the boss, you wanna kill the boss, but leave the other NPCs alive. Now, what I will tell you about this one, since it is outcast, you have to be careful because sometimes the other NPCs that tend to explode, yeah, those suicide bombers, they will, end up killing other NPCs and you need those NPCs alive. As you see, I kill the boss, I just run forward and then let him kill me. And then once he kills me, what I wanna do is I'm gonna fast travel to a safe house. And then once I fast travel to the safe house, you're gonna wanna fast travel to your allies. So you'll see the green pistol. And then once you fast travel to them, you're gonna end up spawning right in front of one of the doors and the NPCs will probably already be fighting. So as you're gonna see here, I spawn in, NPCs are already fighting and don't do what I did. I had the directive where you had no ammo. So I ended up having to pull out my pistol be until I kill somebody and I can pick up some ammo, which kind of almost messed me up in a few instances while filming this video because I started filming the video, I already had the four directives on, including that pistol one and it almost cost me. So just make sure you don't have that one on because you're gonna wanna die, respawn. Every time you die, you'll start with zero ammo as you guys seen right here. Now, once the boss comes out, just focus on the boss and then you can either allow some type of fire to kill you as you see here or let the NPCs kill you. Just do what I did the first time, right? So I'm gonna die, I'm gonna give up. Don't let the NPC pick you up, give up and then fast travel to that safe house and then you just keep doing it over and over. So once you go to the safe house, then you spawn in on the green pistol and then you'll have bosses in front of you. And that's it. The one thing I will tell you about this control point is just be careful because sometimes um, you might catch yourself on fire and what that'll do is that'll destroy your shield. So just be very careful when you guys are doing this one. I just tell you because of those suicide bombers, you can catch yourself in a pretty sticky situation. And lucky enough, my control point officer didn't make this a wasted run, so he was able to get me up. I'm able to finish off the boss and get another two to three items. So the boss was right in front of me. I just pushed him right away. Just wanna focus him. Don't wanna focus any of the NPCs. And I still almost catch myself in a bad situation, right? Because of the fire. And that's the one thing I would tell you guys to worry about when you're doing this. Besides that, it should be a cakewalk. It's not that hard at all. And I will tell you, if you do end up killing the boss and you complete the control point, we'll just go to the open world, reset the control point, and then start it all over. 
but pick up the loot first and then start it over and that's it guys if you guys have any questions on how to do this method the build i was using was a hunter's fury build yeah pretty much can use this and run through it all right guys i'll see you guys in the next one until the next division two video nothing but skills is out